Hello and welcome to day 109 of our daily Bible reading. As always, let's begin with prayer. Creator God, grant us a new and refreshing perspective on your word. Let each reading be filled with awe, discoveries, and divine revelations. Amen. And today we begin in the book of Joshua, chapters 19 and 20, the territory of Simeon. The second lot came out for Simeon, for the tribe of Simeon, according to its families. Its inheritance lay within the inheritance of the tribe of Judah. It had for its inheritance Beersheba, Sheba, Molada, Hazar, Shuel, Bela, Ezem, El Tolad, Bethul, Horma, Ziklag, Beth Markabus, Hazer Susa, Beth Lebea, and Sheruhan, thirteen towns with their villages, Ain, Rimmon, Ether, and Ashen, four towns with their villages, together with all the villages all around these towns as far as Baal Baalath Beer, Rama of the Negeb. This was the inheritance of the tribe of Simeon, according to its families. The inheritance of the tribe of Simeon formed part of the territory of Judah. Because the portion of the tribe of Judah was too large for them, the tribe of Simeon obtained an inheritance within their inheritance. The territory of Zebulun. The third lot came up for the tribe of Zebulun, according to its families. The boundary of its inheritance reached as far as Sarid. Then its boundary goes up westward and on to Merilah and touches Dabasheth, then the wadi that is near Jokneam. From Sarid it goes in the other direction eastward toward the sunrise to the boundary of Chisloth Tabor. From there it goes to Dabareth, then up to Japhia. From there it passes along on the east toward the sunrise to Gath Hefer, to Ethkazan, and going on to Rimmon, it bends toward Nia. Then on the north, the boundary makes a turn to Hanathon, and it ends at the valley of Iftahel, and Kadath, Nahalel, Shimron, Idela, and Bethlehem, twelve towns with their villages. This is the inheritance of the tribe of Zebulun, according to its families, these towns with their villages. The territory of Issachar. The fourth lot came out for Issachar, for the tribe of Issachar, according to its families. Its territory inclu included Jezreel, Chezeloth, Shunem, Hapharim, Zion, Anahara, Rebath, Kishion, Ebez, Remeth, and Ganem, and Hada, Beth Hazaz. The boundary also touches Tabor, Shahazuma, and Beth Shemesh, and its boundaries end at the Jordan, sixteen towns with their villages. This is the inheritance of the tribe of Issachar, according to its families, the towns with their villages. The territory of Asher. The fifth lot came out for the tribe of Asher, according to its families. Its boundary included Hilkath, Halai, Beaton, Akshaf, Alamelech, Hamad, and Mishal. On the west it touches Carmel and Shihor Libneth. Then it turns eastward, goes to Beth Dagon, and touches Zebulun and the valley of Iftael toward northward to Bethemic and Neil. Then it continues in the north to Cable, Ebron, Rehob, Hammon, Cana, as far as Great Sidon. Then the boundary turns to Ramah, reaching to the fortified city of Tyre. Then the boundary turns to Hosa, and it ends at the sea. Machaleb, Akzib, Uma, Aphek, and Rehob, 22 towns with their villages. This is the inheritance of the tribe of Asher, according to its families, these towns with their villages. The territory of Naphtali. 
the sixth lot came out for the tribe of Naphtali, for the tribe of Naphtali according to its families. And its boundary ran from Heleph, from the oak in Zeananim, and Adamai Nekeb, and Jabneel as far as Lachem, and it goes and it ended at the Jordan. Then the boundary turns westward to Asnoth Tabor, and goes from there to Hukok, touching Zebulun at the south, and Asher on the west, and Judah on the east at the Jordan. The fortified towns are Zidim, Zer, Hamath, Rekath, Shinnereth, Adama, Ramah, Hazar, Hedesh, Edrai, and Hazer, Iron, Migdalel, Horam, Bethanath, and Beth Shemesh, nineteen towns with their villages. This is the inheritance of the tribe of Naphtali, according to its families, the towns with their villages. The territory of Dan. The seventh lot came out for the tribe of Dan, according to its families. The territory of its inheritance included Zora, Eshtaol, Urshimish, Shealabin, Ijalon, Ithla, Elon, Timna, Ekron, Eltika, Gibbethon, Baalath, Jehud, Beni Birak, Geth Rimmon, Me Jarkin, and Rakan at the border opposite Joppa. When the territory of the Danites was lost to them, the Danites went up and fought against Leshem, and after capturing it and putting it to the sword, they took possession of it and settled in it, calling Leshem Dan after their ancestor Dan. This is the inheritance of the tribe of Dan, according to their families, these towns with their villages. Joshua's Inheritance When they had finished distributing the several territories of the land as inheritances, the Israelites gave an inheritance among them to Joshua, son of Nun. By command of the Lord they gave him the town that he asked for, Timnath Sirah, in the hill country of Ephraim. He rebuilt the town and settled in it. These are the inheritances that the priest Eliezer and Joshua son of Nun and the heads of the families of the tribes of the Israelites distributed by lot at Shiloh before the Lord at the entrance of the tent of meeting. So they finished dividing the land. Chapter 20 The Cities of Refuge Then the Lord spoke to Joshua, saying, Say to the Israelites, Appoint the cities of refuge, of which I spoke to you through Moses, so that anyone who kills a person without intent or by mistake may flee there. They shall be for you a refuge from the avenger of blood. The slayer shall flee to one of these cities and shall stand at the entrance of the gate of the city and explain the case to the elders of that city. Then the fugitive shall be taken into the city and given a place and shall remain with them. And if the avenger of blood is in pursuit, they shall not give up the slayer because the neighbor was killed by mistake, there having been no en enmity between them before. The slayer shall remain in that city until there is a trial before the congregation, until the death of the one who is high priest at the time. Then the slayer may return home to the town in which the deed was done. So they set apart Kedesh in Galilee in the hill country of Naphtali and Shechem in the hill country of Ephraim and Kiriath Arba, that is Hebron, in the hill country of Judah. And beyond the Jordan east of Jericho, they appointed Bezer in the wilderness on the tableland from the tribe of Reuben and Ramoth in Gilead from the tribe of Gad, and Golan in Bashan, from the tribe of Manasseh. These were the cities designated for all the Israelites and for the aliens residing among them, that anyone who killed a person without intent could flee there, so as not to die by the hand of the avenger of blood, until there was a trial before the congregation. Luke chapter 19 verses 28 through 48 
Jesus' triumphal entry into Jerusalem. After he had said this, he went on ahead going up to Jerusalem. When he had come near Bethphage and Bethany, at the place called the Mount of Olives, he sent two of the disciples, saying, Go into the village ahead of you, and as you enter it you will find tied there a colt that has never been ridden. Untie it and bring it here. If anyone asks you, Why are you untying it? Just say this, The Lord needs it. So those who went, who were sent, departed and found it as he had told them. As they were untying the colt, its owners asked them, Why are you untying the colt? They said, The Lord needs it. Then they brought it to Jesus, and after throwing their cloaks on the colt, they set Jesus on it. As he rode along, people kept spreading their cloaks on the road. Now as he was approaching the path down from the Mount of Olives, the whole multitude of the disciples began to praise God joyfully with a loud voice for all the deeds of power that they had seen, saying, Blessed is the King who comes in the name of the Lord. Peace in heaven and glory in the highest heaven. Some of the Pharisees in the crowd said to him, Teacher, order your disciples to stop. He answered, I tell you, if these were silent, the stones would shout out. Jesus weeps over Jerusalem. As he came near and saw the city, he wept over it, saying, If you, even you, had only recognized on this day the things that make for peace, but now they are hidden from your eyes. Indeed, the days will come upon you when your enemies will set up ramparts around you and surround you and hem you in on every side. They will crush you to the ground, you and your children within you, and they will not leave within you one stone upon another, because you did not recognize the time of your visitation from God. Jesus cleanses the temple. Then he entered the temple and began to drive out those who were selling things there, and he said, It is written, My house shall be a house of prayer, but you have made it a den of robbers. Every day he was teaching in the temple. The chief priests, the scribes, and the leaders of the people kept looking for a way to kill him, but they did not find anything they could do, for all the people were spellbound by what they heard. Psalm 88, a prayer for help and despondency, a song, a psalm of the Korahites, to the leader according to Mahalath, Leonah, a mascal of Heman, the Ezrahite. O Lord, God of my salvation, at night when I cry out before you, let my prayer come before you, incline your ear to my cry. For my soul is full of troubles, and my life draws near to Sheol. I am counted among those who go down to the pit. I am like those who have no help, like those forsaken among the dead, like the slain that lie in the grave, like those whom you remember no more, for they are cut off from your hand. You have put me in the depths of the pit, in the regions of dark and deep. Your wrath lies heavy upon me and you overwhelm me with all your waves. You have crushed my companions to shun me. You have made me a thing of horror to them. I am shut in so that I cannot escape. My eye grows dim through sorrow. Every day I call on you, O Lord. I spread out my hands to you. Do you work wonders for the dead? Do the shades rise up to praise you? Is your steadfast love declared in the grave or your faithfulness in Abaddon? Are your wonders known in the darkness or your saving help in the land of forgetfulness? But I, O Lord, cry out to you. In the morning my prayer comes before you. O Lord, why do you cast me off? Why do you hide your face from me, wretched and close to death from my, my youth up? I suffer your terrors. I am desperate. Your wrath has swept over me. 
Your dread assaults destroy me. They surround me like a flood all day long. From all sides they close in on me. You have caused friend and neighbor to shun me. My companions are in darkness. Proverbs chapter 13 verses 12 through 14. Hope deferred makes the heart sick, but a desire fulfilled is a tree of life. Those who despise a word bring destruction on themselves, but those who respect a command will be rewarded. The teaching of the wise is a fountain of life, so that one may avoid the snares of death. This has been the Word of God and the Word of Life. Thanks be to God, and we'll see you tomorrow.